this lecture, we're going to talk about the hypsometric equation. And the hypsometric equation is essentially trying to define what the thickness of a layer is. And so if we take the difference in geopotential height between two pressure surfaces, we're going to call that the thickness. Um, so remember, geopotential height is our redefined height coordinate system. <coughs> And we're going to start off with the hydrostatic equation. Once again, you can see how useful that equation is. So dp by dz is minus the density times gravity. And we know from the equation of state that we developed for extensive properties that the density of our air parcel is equal to the pressure divided by r sub d times the virtual temperature. And recall that the virtual temperature is a correction factor which adjusts the density for the presence of water vapor in the atmosphere. Otherwise, this would be the dry pressure and this would just be the temperature. But we're doing this for a moist air parcel that has water vapor in it, so we must use the virtual temperature. <coughs> if we rearrange this equation, uh, we can get 1 over pressure uh, times the increment in pressure is equal to minus G over R sub D times TV times DZ. So we just uh, substituted this uh, density into the equation and then rearranged the terms. And so what we want to do is we want to integrate this equation. We want to integrate from some initial pressure P1 to a pressure height, uh, a pressure at P2, which is uh, lower typically, and then we'll go from Z1 to Z2. <clears throat> and the problem with this is that we know that the gravity is not constant. We know that the virtual temperature is not going to be constant. So we have to um, deal with this during the integration. So over here, we just simply have the integral from P1 to P2 of 1 over pressure times dP is equal to 1 over R sub D, which is a constant. And now we're going to take the average virtual temperature of the layer, um, TV bar. And by doing that, we can pull that variable, uh, variable out of the equation and do the integration over here, where we have just the integral of GDZ. But we know G is not constant either because it changes with height as well. So we can't easily pull that out uh, yet. Another way you might recognize is this, this integral of GDZ is actually integral equal to the integral of the geopotential. So these are all equivalent. And so now the integral of 1 over PDP is also equal to 1 over R sub D times the virtual temperature average for the layer times the integral of geopotential. And we know that if we divide the geopotential by a constant gravity and multiply out here so that you multiply by 1, you now have the integral of the geopotential height, which is defined as the uh, geopotential divided by uh, the gravity at sea level. <clears throat> so now we can integrate this both sides of the equation. The integral of 1 over PDP is going to be the natural logarithm of P2 minus the natural logarithm of P1. If you remember back to your trig identities, the log of A minus the log of B is equal to the natural logarithm of A over B. So this integral, once you have evaluated it, is now the natural logarithm of P2 over P1 is equal to minus G naught, which is a constant, over R sub D, which is a constant, over the average virtual temperature for the layer, which is a constant. And then the integral becomes trivial. It just becomes the geopotential height at the upper surface minus the geopotential height at the lower surface, which is the thickness of the atmosphere. And if we rearrange this equation for the thickness, you'll find that the thickness and the change in the geopotential height is equal to R sub D times TV bar divided by G naught times the natural logarithm of P1 over P2. And you might notice that the P1 and P2 have switched places because we took the negative sign that would have been in this equation and minus the natural logarithm of P2 over P1 is equivalent to the natural logarithm of P1 over P2. So we now have a equation that describes the thickness of the atmosphere. And the thickness between two pressure surfaces is primarily controlled by the average temperature, virtual temperature in that layer. If you have a uh, warmer layer, then that 
layer is going to be thicker. If that layer is colder, then that layer is going to be more shallow. And we can also redefine this equation in terms of the um, precursor out here. This R sub D T V bar over G naught is going to be redefined as the scale height of the atmosphere. And if you remember, the scale height of the atmosphere was used to describe how pressure changes with height in the atmosphere. So in this case, the scale height of the atmosphere is equal to R sub D sine T V bar over G naught. And that scale height was used in the equation P of Z is equal to P naught times the exponent of minus Z over H. And that is the scale height of the atmosphere. So we now have an equation that will allow us to actually calculate the thickness of the layer between two pressure surfaces as long as we know the average virtual temperature of the air in that layer.